talking to everybody. Sunday, Sunday. Get our football on today. And um, we're gonna go out. We're gonna go out today, watch a game, have a few drinks, figure shit out, right? But I wanted to make a video today. I know I'm maxing out. I'm putting out a video every day. The last few days, it seems like, right? It's a good thing. Um, but I wanted to um, pick your guys' brain today, right? You know, we live life. Uh, most people, the vast, vast majority of people live life worried about uh, things that don't need to be worried about, right? So I want to ask you a question, like, if you were dying and you knew you were dying, right? How would you live your life? Would you live differently than you are right now? Like, um, do you think you would you would be able to give your loved ones more attention, pay more attention to their needs, and be more selfless? I would think you would. You know, I, I know. I, I'm a selfless person when it comes to the people that I love. You know, I always, I always put them first. You know, um, but you would have to ask yourself, like, do you put the person that you love the most first? You know, obviously we have to love ourselves more than anything in order to be able to love anyone else, right? But, but seriously, like, think about it. If you were dying, what what changes would you make in your life? to be able to enjoy every minute of every day, right? And I'm gonna give you a second to think about that. Because now here's the thing. Do you realize that from the moment you were born, you started dying? The freshest you were ever gonna be is when you came out the womb. And from that day on, your body starts decaying. You know, it's growing and while it's growing, it's decaying. Every day we live, we're closer to that expiration date. We don't know when it is. And I think that um, if people could, you know when you're a youngster, you think you're invincible. You know, all youngsters believe they're invincible and they're not afraid of death. Um, they don't recognize their own mortality. It's as you get older and, you know, when you're young, you're rough. You know, you could horseplay, you can get in a fight and it's nothing, you know. Then you get, you get older and you get in a fight and your fucking wrist is killing you for a week, you know. And you bump into something and you feel that bruise. And that's because your body's dying off. You know, it doesn't matter how much you exercise, you're never going to be immortal, you know. And so maybe for some people, that's something that they should keep in mind, you know. Hey, man, tomorrow ain't promised, you know. I'm healthy. I don't think I'm going to die tomorrow, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get cut off on the freeway. I don't know if I'm gonna get T-boned in an intersection. You know, I don't know if somebody can come into a store I'm in, a nut, and just start shooting. But even without all those things, remember that you have an expiration date, physically. You know, your heart's only gonna last so long. Your muscles are only gonna last so long. From the day you were born, you started dying. And uh, if you think about it, that's not something to be sad about. That's something that should focus you more on um, having healthy relationships, having positive relationships. And I don't mean relationships just with, with uh, a significant other. I mean with everyone in your life, you know, letting go of grudges, letting go of resentments you know those those are all things that that hurt you not who you you're, you're holding a grudge against or who you have resentment towards or anger towards you know um, 
I know lately I've been kind of more maybe on uh, You know my channel is all about positivity period But uh, I think that because I'm so happy In my personal life And I see others Around me Struggling in their personal lives You know I can't I can't do anything for them They have to do it for themselves But you know I want to make sure that I reach out to you guys and, You know whatever um, Views that I have About the world and about The human interaction I try to express them to you And um, and I like the feedback that I get back in the comment section. You know, um, there's some tough guys and some tough girls that are um, subscribed to my channel and that are members of my channel, and yet they're right here and they're and they're soaking it up and they're expressing themselves. And tough people don't like to do that. So that's 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 a um, glimpse at yourself and the, the growth that you're making. You know because of what we do on this channel it's not just me man you know i guess uh i'll bring this one to a close here but like i said just give it a minute you know give it a minute every day man and just say you know what tomorrow ain't promised man how can i make today better for myself and the people that i interact with you know I wish I could, oh, you guys look it up. It's a thing by Friedrich Nietzsche. The guy went nuts. He was a genius, he was a philosopher. He went nuts, right? But he had this thing and I used to have it in prison. I wish I still had it. I wish I had it and I could post it for you guys. But try to look it up. It's called The Blueprint for Success by Nietzsche. You know? And if you apply the things that he's talking about in that blueprint, It'll help you to become successful in everything that you do. You know? I remember parts of it. He says something like, plan while others are playing. Um, listen while others are talking. Like, you can learn so much and then take advantage of when other people ain't doing what they're supposed to do, that's when you shine. You know? There I go getting sidetracked again, rambling. You know, so you know how we get down on this channel. But um, at the end of the day, I want what's best for everybody, man. I I I I know that you know if we can all find peace in our hearts, the world's a better place. And I know that's some hippie shit, man. But hey, listen, that gangster shit, that shit is is for the birds, man. You know, I I want to be a hippie. <laughs> I want to be a nerd I want to be all those things that I wasn't before Because I see those people Are a lot happier than a gangster You know Those people have more um, Happiness and success in their lives Because They're focused on Personal growth and learning And you know just growing Period you know they're not worried about Who's a bad motherfucker And uh, They're not wasting their energy On, on negative thinking And uh, negative actions And hurting people And uh, sacrificing themselves For Something that's detrimental You know that That's the worst type of energy right there But uh I'll go ahead and Shit, this is already almost a 10 minute long video Didn't mean to do that I've been trying to keep it short You know, because um, I know I lose you guys after a few minutes They're like, there he goes rambling again But uh, Everybody gets to be safe Get ready for tomorrow We're back on the grind And uh, I know the majority of us don't like The jobs that we have But It provides us With the money that we need to maintain uh, whatever lifestyle that we have and those of you that have time enroll in the city college get in get into some classes get into some stuff to uh, if you're really tired of, of what you're doing if you apply yourself you can do something better and you
you can make more and maybe you find something you love but uh with that i'm out you guys have a good day okay don't forget tell the ones you love that you love them i'm out